it's moving, moving day, day part one so we have to we're moving with a pod mm -hmm. which i will have put a little clip of it before this um so it arrived two days ago and there's it is it. there's nothing in it currently it's at my parents house just because it's they have like we have a shared driveway so we wanted to put it in the driveway and we can park something behind it so that it's like protected um so we're moving with a pod so that means that we're without our stuff for like eight days bare minimum eight, days. eight to eight to ten days we're at the place with the u-hauls it's not like an actual u-haul location i don't know it's kind of janky but whatever so we're picking up u-haul truck we're loading it up taking all of our stuff over to my parents house and packing the pod today yeah. because the Petrus family is moving to Orlando, which we haven't put anywhere in the vlogs no. on our YouTube channel. But if you follow us on Instagram, we posted it on there. Mm -hmm. um, it's a long time coming. It is, yeah. So we leave for Orlando in less than two weeks, yeah. which is crazy. It's come up really fast. I mean, it was really fast anyway, and we'll explain the story later, but... But it's moving day! Moving day! So we gotta go. I'm officially in the truck, and I'm heading to the house. Check out this setup right here. I pulled it onto the front lawn, and it's gonna go right to the door. Trip number one. There also might be a squirrel on the back. We're not sure. It's gonna be a feat. That's for sure. That's not coming. Here's what we got so far. Good work, Meg. Good work, Ross. Meg, this little pod holds quite a bit. Yeah. Same. Eight foot tall. There's gotta be like six or seven boxes stacked tall. Here, I'll go on the side. Got some serious depth, that's for sure. Got some stuff hiding back there. Picture frames are cool there. There's a crazy amount of stuff there you don't even know. Maybe we got this. We got it. We were scared, but we got this. Also, word to the wise, pack things inside of your furniture. This hutch over here is cram jam full of stuff. And we're also gonna cram jam full of this. Cram jam. I got that from British Bake Off. Cram jam. <laughs> Saying goodnight to the pod tonight. It's not finished. Nope, we got more to do. Here it is. tired it was a really really long day but it was like very, so very successful first of all when I first saw the pod I was like we're gonna be good like we're gonna be we're gonna be fine it's a seven by seven by eight yeah which, which is, the smallest is one really have. small but um then we started like then we like took everything over by the pod and like it all like got laid out on my parents' front lawn. Which you'll have seen. <laughs> and I was looking at it all and I was just like, this we're gonna, gonna have to part ways, not gonna man. Fit. I was like, we're gonna have to leave a lot behind. Like this is a problem. Which we already knew, well, we had already thought we were gonna have to leave some stuff behind, but I this think was the like- the only thing we're gonna have to leave behind is Christmas stuff. Yeah. We might be able to bring our chair. Which we I might be able to bring our chair. chair. And I would really enjoy to be able to bring a Christmas tree. Yeah. Just because, like, maybe I want to set it up the weekend before Thanksgiving. Also, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Can you hear that it's the 4th of July? 
our neighborhood is going nuts. And it has never been like this. I'm, no. And I think that I came to a good conclusion whenever I was like, I think it's because there's no cities putting on any shows this year. Yeah. And like, wow. It's been nonstop since 9 p.m. and it's yeah. 10.49. It's like a switch. Like a switch flipped and it was just like, everyone in the neighborhood was having their own shows. Um, but also I think that since people aren't going out to eat as much and that kind of stuff, they, some people just have extra cash so they decided to just go big i don't I know i guess i think that fireworks are a waste of money but this is me this is also me who definitely enjoys fireworks shows at disney world but <laughs> that's because it's like a big production like it feels worth it you know like i can't maybe that's why i don't really like them anywhere else just because like i feel like they're just done so well at like disney and universal that like Spoiled. sitting on my porch and watching people shoot some off with like no music or anything is just kind of like eh. we're spoiled we are spoiled i will say i do like the community like ish feel of it but like man it's crazy today yeah i definitely did not feel patriotic today though in any way shape or form like America is just in a really bad spot, and I feel like we definitely don't deserve a birthday party today. <laughs> but, um, so I did not really celebrate at all. I mean, like, we cooked out, but we would have done that even if this wasn't the 4th of July. Listen, happy birthday to all the parts of America that I do love. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do. You know, I just want to give a big shout out to anybody that I know or or don't know that spent their 4th of July at a protest um, because in all honesty I think at this moment in time that's probably the most American thing that you can do on the 4th of July right now like not wrong um, I know that there was a there was a big protest in Orlando I'm pretty sure that there was a protest in Cleveland a defund the police protest um, and I would have loved to be there but I am literally terrified of tear gas like They've just been, like, throwing it willy-nilly, like, it's nothing, when there's actually, like, massive medical things that can go wrong to you if you inhale it. Like, I have really bad asthma, and it terrifies me to think about the fact that I could get tear gas thrown at me, and that upsets me because I feel like it's interfering with my want-slash-need to protest. I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and just be as prepared as I can. You gotta be safe though. I know. You can help if like we can say help you're in not other ways. right, like say you're not a protester, say you're scared, which is you're totally warranted, especially with the stuff that's been happening. Well, I mean um, like the protests have been perfectly peaceful until the police show up. So I know. it's just like but there's so many things you can still do, so don't feel like I'm not scared because they don't protest, they don't do anything. Like no, there's so much to do. I'm not scared of protesting. I'm scared of the police interaction with protesting. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but there's lots of other things to do, and maybe I will put a link of some things yeah. in the description. But um, today's a mix of emotions, man. You know. Yeah, there's still like random things laying around that we need to pack up but then also a lot of things that are like not coming with us like being sent to people or being donated or being sold yeah but yeah but we did a lot today we did like 12 hours of moving non-stop yeah. so and we're gonna be back at it in two days yeah. we're sore and, and tired that, this that might just all be one video yeah. All of this? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah. If this video ends now, thank you so much for following along on today's adventure. Wait, what's our, I forgot our sign off. And we'll see you next time. No, no, no. Well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tomorrow. Daily vlogging <laughs> is a lot. All right. Hey, Ted. Look at this cat. Look at both these cats. They're actually quite bothered by the fireworks, but Iggy decided to sleep it off, and Teddy's snuggling with us. We're right, about bud? to watch some episodes of Shit's Creek. Yep. Please ignore the mess in the background. We're moving. Okay, thanks. Bye. The next day. Where you at? <laughs> oh, hi.
Why? Are you just with the spices? You're the one getting fancy with the spices. <laughs> Look at what we happened upon today in our kitchen. You kitties. Round two. We're back with more stuff. What if it didn't open? Oh, we didn't bring the shoes. Dang it. <laughs> There's no room in the car. We'll come back with them. Hello, pod. All right, let's pull this crud out and reassess. If you ever think you have too many frames, just uh, come talk to the Pedro fam. We even have some that's uh, not even framed yet, you know? And then we also have like canvases. And it's all gonna fit. It's gonna. It's empty. It's empty. Oh my gosh. Look at our face. We're up at 6 a.m. We'll explain it later. Goodbye to the house from heck. Bye. Man oh man, we will not miss this place. House of horrors. Okay. We gotta finish trash and then we're done, so. More moments later. It is officially packed. Minus the cat litter box. Yeah. Which we have to find a spot for. Oh my goodness. What's our life? This is our life in a pod. A little seven by seven by eight pod. We'll see you in Florida pod. Here's the final rendition. It's officially closing for the last time. I'm exhausted. This has been five days of making sure everything fits in this little cube, but we did it. Katie's last day of work is today. She actually headed to the office now to clear her desk off and they're picking the pot up at 10. So I am so sweaty. <laughs> Much, much later. Driving to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy. It came fast. It really did. It was already fast, but then like, it was Cause. extra fast. What? It's a turtle stuffed animal. <laughs> oh, we're in the childhood bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> the boys have no idea what they're in for. It's hard to say goodbye. Today was like emotionally rough, but also exciting. So, yeah, I agree. It'll be okay. Our relationships are strong. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways to stay in contact with people. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna visit as often as we can. I think what makes me a little sad is purely COVID. 19 like no time was going to be perfect for us to move it just sucks that like I can't say for sure we'll be back in three months for a weekend or something like right. that you know because who knows what life is going to look like um, it's you know no one's fault well, some people's fault, but <laughs> I'm just gonna do the best we can. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We can only do what we personally can do 
since we don't really have the government behind us in terms of like actually containing this yeah so um yeah we're gonna be as safe as possible while still figuring out our new life in Orlando and ways to enjoy what is there mm -hmm. but do it safely mm -hmm. and smart and to the best of our abilities yep. so oh Teddy's here Teddy. he's ready for Betty Teddy Teddy <gasps> You ready for Betty? Are you ready to drive for hours and hours and hours and hours? Iggy, you are? Cool. Right, we gotta go to bed. Yes. We we're already have a million things to do in the morning. Hopefully getting up at 8. Well, no. We're hopefully leaving at 8. Um, to get to LA. Oh, why do you do that? I just want to get to Atlanta. Ideally, before it's super dark. Yeah. And hopefully we'll vlog a lot in the car, because we're going to have to be alert. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure the cats will be entertaining. Yeah, I also, like, haven't planned what we're going to listen to no. or anything. Going to wing it. Also, Meg and I have never driven to Florida together. together. We had... Two people come down with us last time because we had two cars, so we drove separate. This is true. We're taking one car this time, mm -hmm. and my mom is coming, and the kitties. Yep. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm <about> sorry. <laughs> but we'll see you in the morning. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night.